Smart Electric Avenue has been a three year, £10 million project to look at the impact that electric vehicles might have on a local electricity networks. We've been trying to understand the impact and understand uh, what we can actually do to solve the problem. Uh, so this project offered um, uh, two things. It, it gave us the opportunity to understand, if you like, you know, how this the uptake was going to evolve. We would get clusters and how would they evolve, what sort of people would be buying electric vehicles. And it also gave us the opportunity to um, test specific solutions. Effectively what this project has given us that if you like the, the elements that are needed to develop a standard, a standard way of, 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 of implementing this solution. I became a cluster champion primarily because I'm very interested in uh, renewable energy, that's actually the industry that I work in, uh, and very keen to see how um, uh, renewable energy can support electric vehicles. Uh, obviously that comes with challenges and I was quite interested in the technological side of the project uh, and what challenges electric vehicles would have on the electrical infrastructure. Senex is heavily involved in low carbon vehicles and energy infrastructure projects and the My Electric Avenue project is one of those really exciting projects that we've been watching with great interest because it's tackling some key important themes. It's saying what is the potential impact of the mass rollout of electric vehicles on the local distribution infrastructure uh, and that's a really important question. Uh, it could be a barrier to uptake and it's one that we want to understand the means to address. Uh, and the My Electric Avenue uh, project is engaged with the first generation generation of EV motorists. It's understand, helping and gain an understanding of how they're using their vehicles, what their attitudes to vehicle use, and what their attitudes might be to moderating their use of electricity to better control impacts on the local grid. It's a wider scope of uh, making sure that we integrate the automotive industry with uh, the energy industry. This sort of is the first step. Uh, we'll be looking at much further in integration in the future. But this idea of smart charging, whereby the, the load to the grid can be adjusted, if you'd like, uh, depending on the condition or the charging time and so on, it was really the necessary first step. And the education process of this uh, uh, automotive industry uh, talking and exchanging with the uh, energy uh, industry is absolutely critical. We're absolutely delighted with the project, to be frank. We've had a fantastic range of partners in the project, we've had a great response from customers, and we've generated some real valuable learning. Of course, with any of these sort of projects, you always learn new things, and there's new things that need to be looked at into the future, but we're really proud of the project, and I'm thrilled with what we've actually achieved.